Hi everyone, Linda here. I'm an independent Scentsy consultant. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm on here today to do a what I've been warming. Uh, this is from the beginning of March. As you know, I was away for quite a bit of March. So some of this I've warmed before I left. Some of it I've warmed since I've been home. Some of it's empty, some of it's partially empty. At the end, I will do a favorite and a fail. And I'm gonna take a moment at the beginning to do a quick review after warming of the spring bricks. Today is April 3rd. They're going to be available in a week on the 10th, next Monday, uh, for ordering. And so I know I'm late to the game. Lots of people have already warmed them, gave you, shared their thoughts with you. I just, I thought, well, I'll tell you what I think. <laughs> uh, and if you, you know, you sort of know the way I, I review things, maybe it'll be helpful. <laughs> Anyway, I'll get to those. And before I do that, I'm gonna quickly do a couple of non-wax Scentsy items. And the first one is a scent circle in Cedar Cider. Uh, this is in my utility closet off my kitchen. And that's where I have like recycling bins, my mini Dyson, some cleaning products, garbage bags, that sort of thing. Um, I always have a scent circle in there and I try to aim for strong ones. So far, this one has done really well. It's uh, one of my favorite top five scents. Love that. Then I did get through some laundry products. Um, fluffy Fleece and Jammy Time are my go-tos. Those are what I usually typically won't use. And I use the Whiffs and the Laundry uh, Liquid and the Scent Soft. Um, those I use for bedding, towels, that sort of thing. Um, this I use for my regular clothes for the last quite a long time, actually. It's lasted me a long time. I don't use whiffs with my clothes typically. I use this up. I did have these whiffs that came and I must have gotten these in a flash sale because this was a scent two years ago, I think in the summer. And then I think they came out with some laundry uh, specials or something as part of that release maybe, I don't remember. But I did get this from a flash sale or clearance or something because um, I didn't order it as part of the summer collection. I didn't order anything from the summer collection when it was live a couple years ago. Anyway, um, it was nice. A lot of people really, really, really love it. It's not a favorite. Right now I'm using Scentsy Clean for my clothes. I did use these whiffs on, like my husband wears sort of overall sometimes if he's working on the car or he wears, you know, clothes when he's working in the yard. He, I call them his man cave clothes. <laughs> and they're a little, I, I, I will put a scoop of whiffs in when I wash his clothes separately so anyway that's that it's very pleasant I, I mean it's not my sort of favorite laundry so um, I, I probably wouldn't use it normally but I know it's really really popular and it's available now in the catalog and it's in a really pretty container so um, very very popular now let's get to the bricks the bricks I, I did a cold sniffs review and I kind of ra rated them in order of preference and I will review them in uh, warming after warming in that same order. And then I'll let you know at the end if my opinion changed at all. And of course, my least favorite was uh, cucumber and cactus water. I have warmed this before. I did uh, get it last year and it was not a scent for me. Most of you know, I don't like cucumber scents, typically. I mean, there are a few that I, where the cucumber is hidden or subtle i don't mind those but this the cucumber is front and center <laughs> to my nose i warmed this in my office big mistake smallest room on my main floor this is a powerhouse i shouldn't have warmed it in there i could almost taste it and it went like three days and i finally took it out um it's very green very green very fresh green and not a green like sometimes the green scents are um sweeter you know, they have a sweeter element. Like even grass has a sweetness to it. This, uh, or like flower shop, you know, it's, it has a has a little edge of sweetness to the green. But this is very astringent green to my nose. It reminded me like of a kale salad. You know, kale, how it's a little bit of an edge to it. It's not the same, you know, as say spinach. <laughs> and the cucumber and the salt, the salted cucumber was very, very evident through the whole warm. It did tap down a bit, like on the third day, it was a little more just a mishmash of greenness, but the cucumber was there. And um, 
Anyway, I went to my daughter to babysit my do grand dog Fozzie. And um, once in a while, my son-in-law and daughter, you know, have meetings or something. They can't get home to let them out like during the day. So they asked me to come. And I used to take a book, sit in their cozy den, read. <laughs> and uh, she had a, her Himalayan salt warmer on that day and it had cinnamon pine cone. It was so relaxing. And then I got home and sat in my lady parlor and I watched TV in there. I meditate, I listen to music, I read my books and <laughs> And I was smelling this. So a big no for me, but um, somebody loves it out there. I will make samples. And as I mentioned, somebody in my girl gang might like it. Girl gang might like it. And I will warm it outside in the summer. The next one was summer berry melon. This one is uh, cassava, melon, strawberry, raspberry, pineapple. Um, it was just a berry, a berry scent. I warmed this in my family room. And it did well down there. I think I did the laundry room too at the same time. So the whole basement, it was, it's, it reminded me a lot of, sun, of sun ripened berry, like that kind of berry, just berry with a little hint, maybe more of the pineapple, which again is not a favorite note of mine either, but it was pleasant berry, basic berry to my nose. It didn't, it, it was strong. It did well, but uh, it lasted two days. I guess the second day it was a little flatter. The berries weren't as, a rich it was a little more flatty like fruit fruit juice you know fruit but anyway it was nice not special to my nose or to me but it did well so if you're looking for a summer berry scent but again if I had to order a berry scent and I had to choose something I'd choose from the catalog I think there are better berry scents there um, the next one is pink apple and nectarine and this one is pink apple, nectarine, wild poppy, and lush uh, sugar cane. And this one I warmed in my living room. And foyer, it was quite perfumey. It, not in an unpleasant way. It was definitely uh, apple, an apple perfume. Kind of like, yeah, it was like a, like a, if you went to Bath and Body Works and bought uh, apple perfumey body spray. That's what it reminded me. It wasn't quite intense enough to be perfume, but it was sort of a body spray and, and pretty and pleasant. Like you could put this, if you warm this in a store or something, it would be a pleasant smell for people. It wouldn't offend anybody. Um, very apple-y. Um, yeah, it was pretty in the living room. You could warm that in the living room in the summer. I would do it again. So it was pleasant. Uh, Orchard by the Sea. That was my second favorite. And this is apple orchard, sea salt sky, linen, and green mango. Um, definitely apple orchard. And it's a weird combination for me. Uh, apple orchard, berry apple orchard. So you smell that apple orchard, and then you have this sort of sea, not too salty, but it was definitely like smelled like a seashore, uh, sort of by the apple orchard. It was an odd combination, but not unpleasant. Uh, I, the uh, green mango I didn't smell, and the linen, the linen I could smell on coal, but when I was warming it, it didn't, it didn't smell very linen-y. It maybe smelled a little bit like fresh laundry on a wine or something by the sea and an apple orchard, <laughs> but not a really obvious note. Um, this one for me was, uh, I warmed it, where did I warm it? Oh, I warmed it twice. I warmed it in my office first, and then I warmed it in my family room. Both times, I used three cubes. Both times, um, it didn't last, it, it, even in my office. It was good for probably the majority of a day. Uh, it was there, not, not super strong though. It, did, it was not super strong in, that, in my office compared to the, um, the cucumber and cactus water. But it was nice. But day two, it really taps down quickly, to my, at least in my house. And the, when I did it in my family room, same thing. The first six hours, it was really obvious, and then it slowly dissipated. So when my husband went down there to watch TV in the evening, he knew he smelled something, but he couldn't identify it. Like I said to him, well, what do you smell? And he goes, well, it smells a little fruity, but, you know, you know he couldn't really identify it. So it, it is... I think it doesn't last, this one. That's my opinion. And the next one is Beach Daisy. Honeydew, Daisy, and Green Apple. This is a really popular one. P 
people ha uh, have loved it, have used it. I have never warmed it before, even though I had heard of it. And I must have just been asleep when it was, a, I think it was a summer scent at one point, maybe three years ago or four years ago. Anyway, on light, it was super light. Pretty, really pretty, but super light. And I warmed it in my bedroom. And then I warmed it a little bit of a cube in my uh, bathroom. Anyway, put it in my bedroom, uh, 225 watt warmers. Um, it lasted two days, but it was hard to smell right from the get go. You know, after it, it took a while, like you, sometimes when you put wax in the warmer, it takes a while for the oils to, you know, float, sort of come up into the air. So probably about three hours, at first it took hours, I couldn't smell it at all. And then if I, after I left it a while, the oils kind of came up and I could smell it. And I could smell sort of a, it smelled like a creamy fruit. It says honeydew, I didn't really get honeydew, I got more of a creamy, uh, almost a vanilla-y fruit. Uh, and then uh, a touch of floral. It was very pretty. But I'll tell you, it was, I never really got a great scent, like in that bedroom and I shut the door. It made the room smell pleasant, but it wasn't identifiable. It was very light. And in the bathroom, the same thing. It, I could smell it for a bit and then, it, you know. Anyway, it's a shame because it, I think it's very difficult to smell. I'm gonna hang on to this and let it sit for a while and try it again closer to summer because it is a really summery scent. In fact, all of these. Um, my thoughts on these bars are, I did watch Dan Orchard's um, Month End and he was t mentioning that um, everyone who, I think I have this right, everyone who registered for SFR uh, was polled and asked what their favorite scent categories. And he said all the regions had the same top two scent categories, fruity, fresh. And then uh, third place for a couple of them was bakery and third place I think in Europe might've been floral and then um, uh, woods and maybe woods and floral in, in Great Britain and Europe. And then um, spice, <laughs> spice, you know, was not a favorite, was at the sort of the bottom of the of the list for all of, all of the areas. Anyway, so fruit and floral. I mean, fruity and fresh, pardon me. And that's what this is, fruity and fresh. <laughs> uh, they've got ham on it, I think. And a lot of apple and a lot of salty, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I like Beach Daisy, but it was such a weak scent that I can't be my favorite. Orchard by the Sea went down several notches, partly because it was a weird mix of apple and sea. Uh, yeah, I'll warm the rest of this, don't get me wrong, but it would not be a repurchase. And unless this improves with a bit of time, this would not be a repurchase. I, I don't think it would be repurchase anyway. It's pretty, but it's not outstanding. This one, no. Uh, pink apple and nectarine probably will get used the quickest here because I could put it in my living room in the su hot summer day and it's a nice fruity perfumey, you know, it smells like something you'd smell in a store, you know, with, if they were trying to fragrance a store or a smell like something you'd smell if you walked into anthropology. That's what this smelled like. So I could warm this, but it wouldn't be a repurchase. Summer berry melon. It was nice. I'm going to easily warm this, add a bit of bakery to it, you know, I think it might need a little help to make the berry more rich. Maybe I would warm it, mix it with berry bright or something. I don't know. Uh, not a repurchase. And then of course, you know, I'm not gonna repurchase. In fact, I'll have to come up with uh, some mixes for this. So I think that um, pink apple and nectarine would be my favorite. And the berry I will melt and it did well. Orchard by the Sea, I was disappointed. And I and this is the prettiest, but it just doesn't scent. So anyway, that's my thoughts on the bricks. I don't mean to be a Debbie Downer here, or pardon me, I shouldn't say that. 
<laughs> a Linda Downer. <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, I, I think I'm running contrary to Scentsy Land. Uh, yeah, you know, one of my favorite summer scents is Bonfire Beach. And I mean, I do like fruity, but it's got to be unique, a unique fruity. You know, like I like vanilla blackberry. That's a unique fruity fruit, you know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like spice. I like bakery. I like woods. I love woods. I don't know. I, 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 I think I'm not just fitting in with the rest of you guys out there. Anyway, let's get to what I've been warming. I'm trying to keep this short and sweet. Um, I did do some pink haze in my overnight warmers. These are all overnight warmer warms. Pink haze is like berries, nectarine, um, whipped vanilla, and um, marshmallow fondant. Very, very nice. I love this. This is one of my favorite bars. Top 10 for sure. Vanilla bourbon. That's a great um, overnight warmer. If, if you get a good cube, it's excellent. If you get a not so good cube, it's light, but in an overnight warmer, it's fine. Uh, vanilla with a bit of bourbon and a bit of nutmeg. Nice. Summer moonlight. I did take a stack of six bars to my brothers in Florida for my sister-in-law and him as a little thank you. And uh, I did, my brother brought home his warmer from his office so that I could have one in my guest room. And I had put uh, Summer Moonlight in there as well. And the strawberry, a sweet pea, and sandalwood. Really pretty. I like this, I warm it in my bedroom as well, but I've only been doing it in my uh, overnight warmer so far. Um, and cotton candy cookie. I took this out of my club, I'm gonna regret it. The reason I did that was, I think I have about three bars and I'm only using it in my overnight warmer, so I thought it would last me but I'm, I'm hoping someday it gets voted back and I can restock. I really, really like it. I like it in the bedroom. It's a great bedroom scent. Um, then in bedroom, I did warm um, pink berry fluff. This is from the Easter collection. It's pink berry, marshmallow, and vanilla bean. Did this in my bedroom twice. It, it has a weird note. It was pleasant. It was a pleasant enough, I suppose. Not special. It smells sort of janky right now. But it has almost like a pipe tobacco note to me. Like, you know how you get to, you know, I used to have an old, uh, an old, old family friend who smoked a pipe and, and he, he always had kind of fruity smelling pipe tobacco. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I wouldn't, I'm not going to repurchase any of the Easter bars. Um, Vanilla Waves, I have a few of these, not, I think a couple from last year. Um, it didn't come back. Sea salt, whipped vanilla, sticky caramel. It, uh, I warmed this in my bedroom a couple times. Yeah, it, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of, I like mixing it. It's got a little too much salt for me, but I do like vanilla and I do like caramel. So I did the mandarin zest. This was another Easter bar. This is mandarin, uh, watery pear and vanilla. And I did half in the office and half um, in my bedroom. And it was okay. Mm -hmm. I think I I did haul my the whip boxes of my half price item in my club, and that's shipped, so it should be here probably this week. Uh, get another bar of that. Uh, World Traveler, love this. Blackberry, dark pomegranate, oak bark. I did it in my bathroom several times, and then in my bedroom for the rest. I really, really like it. I took it out of my club though. I had to stick my fall winters things in there and I had to make a call. I think I have several of these and I only really warm it in my uh, bedroom and office. So I'm going to be sorry about that, but a uh, Hemingway is coming back and that's a favorite of mine. So maybe I'll replace that with Hemingway. Uh, I did want, want warm uh, sugar blossom in my bedroom. Uh, this is a new scent that they said is bakery. Everyone went, you know, but, um, it's actually quite nice. It's sugar dip, golden blossom, sugared citrus, and vanilla. And it did really well in my bedroom. And that's a, not a small bedroom. It did really well. And it smelled quite pleasant. It does. It smells a little bit um, like a perfumey sweet. A little bit like, like you know how love and happiness smells? Like, it doesn't smell like that. It's a little sweeter with a little more floral. 
but it's not a floral either. It's just a creamy, it's quite nice. I don't mind it actually. If you take away the thought that it's bakery and appreciate it for what it is, it's quite nice. Graduation, my last bar, and I should have gone into clearance and hauled some. I hope it comes into the flash sale. I'll grab some more. Um, apple suede leather musk. It's a very, very light performer, but I warm it in my overnight warmer and in my bedroom. It's a great scent there. I mean, mostly in my overnight warmer because you have to really load up the, cu the cubes and the warmers in the bedroom to smell it. But yeah, I would get more of that if it comes into um, Clarence or a flash sale. And then I did just try this iridescent. This is the Disney 50, 50th anniversary scent. It's going right now. Cedarwood, citrus, peony, and apple, apple blossom. It's quite, I just went in there and had a sniff before I started this video. It, it's quite pleasant, not, oh, you know, quite a nice pleasant bedroom scent for sure. I might try it in my, in my bathroom as well. Then, what did I do here? Um, in my uh, combination, these ones I did in bedroom, in my bedroom and my office. This is the scent of the month for March, strawberry lemon cake. I warmed this, uh, half of it in my office, half of it in my uh, bedroom. Fresh strawberry lemon zest and vanilla buttercream. It was pleasant, it had a strawberry vanilla scent, very light. Hard to smell, you had to really, what I could smell I liked. It would be a nice sort of maybe kitchen scent in the summer, in the hot, hot summer months. Um, will I repurchase? Maybe. <laughs> I think if I was gonna warm something, I, well, yeah, I'll probably get one more bar. I, I probably would rather warm uh, vanilla, uh, apricot vanilla or something like that. Yeah, it's nice enough though, definitely. None of the scents of the month have uh, made, inspired me so far. French Kiss. Uh, this is very nice. Sweet fig, coconut pulp, cedar, and caramel. I did half in my bedroom, half in the office. This is a very soothing. It's quite light, which is used to be in my club. I took it out. It was a bring back my bar several, several rounds ago. I took it out of my club because it was definitely a light performer and you, you could only... I tried it in my living room a couple of times and it just couldn't cut it there. Hendrix, this is my club. This is a, I'll keep this one forever. I, I've warmed it all over the place. Sometimes I warm it down in my family room, but this one I bought half of it in my bedroom, half of it in my, in my office. Patchouli, sandalwood, pink pepper, and tobacco flower. Yeah, it's really nice. I'm gonna warm this in my camper. Yeah, it's a great bar, always in my club. Then in my family room, I did vanilla cinnamon maple uh, on Oscar night. I wanted something down there that was cozy because it was kind of crummy weather and we were all in there watching the Oscars and it wasn't too overpowering. I didn't want to interfere in other people's, you know, we had food and things. Uh, cinnamon stick, buttery maple, sweet whipped sweet cream. Yeah, it was really nice. So the whole basement laundry room, I had this going. I have this in my club one of my clubs, I can't remember which one. Hufflepuff, this is from the Harry Potter collection. Uh, Justin Loyal, golden apple, whipped vanilla almond and cinnamon sugar. And it, I did half in my office and half in the family room. And in the family room, I added some van, uh, vanilla bean buttercream. Uh, Cause this is a, it's a very, um, it's kind of quite rich. It's got a quite a rich note it's kind of almost cloying. It's got almost like, it says, um, it doesn't say honey, but it has that sort of weight of honey, like buzzworthy kind of, but a little bit deeper. Anyway, yeah, I like it, but I have to be in the mood for it. And, um, but I quite like it. I'll get more of that when they re-release the Potter bars. I'm, I need to stock up on them. Autumn Blaze Maple. I warmed this in my family room and laundry, and I decided after I warmed it to take it out of my club. I had it in my club. Uh, apple, pumpkin, maple, cinnamon, and oak bark. Um, I liked it, it was nice, but it didn't perform as well as some of my other apple scents, so I decided that I would rather keep those in my club, and I took this out. I do have several, I think I have three, three of them now, so I will um, enjoy them, and I think I warmed 
this camping in my motorhome. Lake My Day, one of the new bars. I've just started warming through those. Uh, I still have quite a few to try. So my next empties, don't get my opinion on those. Um, that uh, sugar, sugar Blossom was also the new one. Um, Lake My Day. Uh, this was Refreshing Lake Waves, Bergamot, and Oak Moss. I did this in my family room. I really liked it down there. It definitely has got a, a lake note. It's not salty or like a sea note, but it has that aquaticness, but in a more fresh way. The bergamot was there, but not uber strong. And uh, then that, a little bit of a woody note. I quite like this, actually. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't club it or anything, but I definitely think I'll try another bar. This, this season, it would be a nice fresh, especially for, for that room. And right now, going down there in my family room, laundry room, is the light side of the force. Uh, Orange Grove, Morning Mist, and Driftwood. This is a boomer. <laughs> I'm doing my family room and laundry room, and it's coming up the steps. It's definitely a boomer. I, I prefer the dark side. I, Mandalorian is my favorite from the series, but I prefer the dark side. And this, um, yeah, this mixed with the dark side is good. Uh, this is my least favorite of the three. Now some combinations from my living room kitchen. Uh, dancing sugar plums. I have this in my club for safekeeping. I really like it. Uh, spice plum, vanilla, and sweet uh, cinnamon apple. Uh, this one I think you could warm on a rainy day in the summer. I warmed it not long ago. Nice. And with it, I did apple butter frosting, which is in my club as well, in my husband's club. Baked cinnamon, spiced apple, vanilla buttercream. Really good together. The apple and the spice plum and the sweet cinnamon apple. Very, very, very good together. Then I did uh, some welcome home. It has been like, it's snowing. It's April 3rd and it, it snowed last night. It All the snow was gone. It was quite balmy. We were walking around in shirt sleeves and now it's snowing. It's like insane. And then next week it's going to be 20 in the 20s, which in, Ameri in Fahrenheit is about in the 70s. <laughs> anyway, it'll melt quickly here. That's one thing it does. It doesn't stick around very long, but still. Anyway, welcome home. A cozy scent. Sugar and spices. I, you know me. I love this one. It's a favorite. It's one of those when you don't know what to warm scents. You can just put it in and you can count on it. And it just makes it smell cozy and welcoming like a craft store. And then with that one, I did uh, in the kitchen. I had a few cubes of gimme candy and some... <laughs> cookies for Santa. Gimme candy is just caramelized sugar and honey and buttercream. And this is sugar cookie, brown sugar, and a sip of milk. And together they were quite nice. Super sweet, super rich. I'm down to, I think, two bars of this now. Anyway, I have gimme candy in my club and I'm not sure whether to keep it there. It's very good. It's very sweet, but you can't just warm it on its own. You have to think about it a bit. And I don't know if I want to do that. Um, <laughs> I did you eucalyptus wreath in my living room one day, and uh, this is eucalyptus juniper. Oops, 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 and frosted mint. It was nice. It's a nice scent. And then in the kitchen, I did half a bar of maple apple bourbon. You know, I love maple apple bourbon, and so that was nice. And then the second day after that, I used the second half of maple apple bourbon with cinnamon pine cones and this was the scent of the month in december 2022 uh pine cone balsam cinnamon stick this does so well it's so cozy it's so and people come into my house and go oh what is that like it's a cozy comforting scent i could warm this probably until it's super hot so um it's in my club right now i might actually grab a few more bars before they disappear just to have a little stock and they were that was very nice together uh, my home, I did that in my living room. That was used to be home, sweet home. It is just uh, spices, cinnamon, and floral. It is a boomer. Like, this is so, so lovely. Um, I have this in my living room. It goes three days easily. Very, very nice. A reliable scent. I wish I could, I wish I had a little more because I, I, I think I have one spare all the time. And then I get it in my club. It's in my club. And then I had breakfast in bed two times. So one day, 
Then I did direct breakfast in bed, I think a day and a half. Then I used the other half, the other day and a half, the whole time this was going. And um, I must have got this in a flash sale. Pumpkin pastry, black raspberry, and cinnamon drizzle. This is a really nice scent, really nice kitchen scent. Not, you know, just a smells like a cozy, like you, you cook something yummy and it's, you know, bake something, you know, nice or cook something up for breakfast, like, you know, cinnamon toast or something. It's really nice. Anyway, in my club, wish I had that more of that. Um, then I did, finished up a brick, Caramel chestnut. I love, love this. This is caramel, vanilla, and chestnut. And it's so good and it's so reliable. You can warm it in any room. I have one more brick of this, but I also have it in my club. So I'll be getting, I should be getting a bar in this club that's shipped. So I definitely will keep that in my club. And I wish I could have hauled another brick, but I do have a whole brick. I'll save that for next winter. And then... I did with caramel chestnut in the living room. Coffee tree. I did. I think I alternated warm. What did I? I think I wrote a note. I think it was Angie that recommended it. Yeah, I did it in the living room. So I did it. Um, I think I did alternating warmers. Anyway, coffee tree and uh, car caramel chestnut. And then I had hazelnut latte going in the kitchen. It was really, really nice. And it was a two good two days. And I used this up. I think I had a couple of extra little cubes that I stuck in my foyer one day, just on an off moment. We're getting there, almost done. Oh, 31 minutes, Linda. Um, I did a combination. There was somebody who recommended it on my channel. I wish I could, I should have written the name down anyway. Um, I think, did I write it down? Anyway, it, they recommended cinnamon, uh, cinnamon buttercream and sticky cinnamon bun. And so I did those. I think I did like two cubes and one cube in one and then two cubes and one cube in another. I mixed them. Anyway, uh, sticky cinnamon bun is cinnamon and sweet, a sweet cinnamon and nutty nuances and icing. It doesn't really smell like a bun, but this smells a little more, not like a bun either, but it has that mascarpone, so it's got a rich cinnamon, and it, I, it has a cinnamon cake note. So with those two together, really nice. Did really well. And then in my kitchen, um, maple vanilla glaze. And I think I did this in my kitchen and then the other half in my office because I wanted something cozy in there. So that's that. I think I put this in yesterday because it was a snowy day and it's still going. I'll take that out probably end of today. One of the things I warmed this week, and it almost made my fave, my fave and fails next, is, I'll cover it up because this has got a name on it, um, Vanilla Oud, Bring Back My Bar. This is my last bar. This was in my club that I lost. It's one of my top five scents. It's uh, Sweet Vanilla Leather and Earthy Oud Wood. And it is sweet vanilla. You've got that sweet vanilla. And then the earthy wood. It's not a woody scent. It just adds some warmth to the vanilla. And then some a leather note. Um, it slightly reminds me of Ravenclaw. But it's different. Oh, it's so good. So if we get a chance to vote this back. I'm telling you right now. This is such a good bar. And it lasted and lasted. I had it in a, two full days and could smell it. And then in my kitchen in my office. I did um, pumpkin cinnamon swirl. Which is just a uh, pumpkin cinnamon stick and whipped icing. But it just smells like a cinnamon bun. Like a with a slight hint of pumpkin. But not really. Anyway. This definitely would have made my fave. It's, that, it's not available. So I thought I'd share a fave that was. So here's my fave and my fail, and it's all part of this combo. I'll start with my fail. Uh, it is, uh, I finished off this mango margarita. Now, I know a lot of people are liking this. Mango tropical fruit citrus. And I had done half of it in my office, and then um, I thought I'll warm it again, and... Uh, I stuck it in there again 
in my foyer and my office because I wanted I my the scent I was warming in my living room I wanted to go with those. Um, it was still flat. It, it smelled it smelled like mango, some kind of fruit, but not strong and citrus, but very muted and flat, like no complexity. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I ended up going and grabbing a cube of apple butter frosting and putting it, uh, cutting it in half and putting it in a couple of the warmers just to give it a little something, something. Anyway, definitely not a repurchase for me. Very disappointing. And then my fave, while I was warming this in the office in the foyer, I warmed the rest of the mango shortcake in the kitchen. So I did the mango shortcake in the kitchen twice. And this one I like. It's very light though, very light. It does smell cakey, but not, there's not enough. It needs more. I, if you loaded up your warmers, it would, you know, if you took your kitchen warmers and took a whole bar. But, but the one that is my favorite, and I'm shocked, is mango matcha. And this is mango nectar, matcha sorbet, salted cucumber, and sugar cane. And this was so nice in my living room. It did really well. It smelled like mango nectar but ne mango nectar is a richer mango it's not like just the fruit it's like they take like nectar is like the nectar of a flower or that the that the hummingbirds suck out it's the rich you know core of the scent and that's what mango nectar it has that richness of the mango has a matcha note a little bit of a giving it a little bit of an earthiness um i didn't smell any salted cucumber I guess a little teeny, teeny hint of salt, but not much. And then sugar was quite sweet smelling. Anyway, uh, matcha is like, a, like they make tea, chai tea or milk tea with matcha. And it's, um, if you get poor quality matcha, it can smell kind of fishy, but this one was really nice. The nectar was rich and, um, yeah, it lasted in my living room two full days. Really, really good. So definitely a repurchase for me. And, you know, if I was using it all summer and came to love it, I might even club something. I don't club much from the summer. I don't club many scents from the summer. I, I club uh, Bonfire Beach, Atlantic Air, thank goodness. Uh, a couple of things, but typically I don't. But, you know, that might be. Anyway, I'm just starting to wa warm the new ones. I've done... The Sugar Blossom, I've done this one. I've done, I've done Lake My Day. I'm gonna work through the others and see what my favorites are. Anyway, that's my favorite and my fail. I didn't think the mango inspirations were um, my cup of tea and um, I won't reorder any of them, that, that wildflower one. Anyway, um, I have placed an order uh, I did get some things from the clearance that they just launched April 1st. And then I did a haul uh, as well as part of that order, um, the Mother's Day bars, so they can try those. And that will be arriving. I will get my club. It's shipped. So as soon as it arrives, I'll share my club with you and um, then do that other haul. And then I'll probably, uh, then I have a club, my husband's club shipping at the end of April, but it the way they've been shipping club, I'm not, I won't get that till May. Anyway, stay tuned. You'll see me again soon. And uh, sorry, again, I went over. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> it is what it is. Anyway, thank you so much. Tell me what you, you know, if you've worn the bricks, what do you think? Are you going to order them in bar size and then decide? Uh, were you impressed with the brick? And are you a fruity, fresh lover? Like, it makes sense in the summer to like fruit. I mean, you need light and airy and, you know, makes it makes sense. But, um, yeah, I, I, I find that interesting. I might do a video of something like what are my favorite scents in the different categories and what, how many, which are my stronger categories and why I like them. Because that was an interesting survey result. I was sort of surprised by that. It makes me think that sometimes as YouTubers, we kind of live in a bubble <laughs> and that the people out there are completely different than we are. Anyway, tell me what you think. What's your favorite category? 
Anyway, we'll talk to you later. Thanks so much for tuning in and supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. See you later. Bye.